Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to remove a background in Silhouette Studio and it's very simple to do. So we are going to be using the Magnet Trace tool and this can only be accessed with Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and above. If you don't have Business Edition, I recommend that you get it because it unlocks a whole bunch of really useful features. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So to access the magnet tool, we just need to come over here to the trace panel and then you're going to have an icon that looks like a little magnet. So you're going to click on that. And then here is the magnet trace tool. So we're just going to click on that and then you'll see that we'll have a red little circle with a dot in the middle and that is our magnet so to say so you can change the size of your magnet um, the default i think is 50 percent so i'm going to leave mine on the default but you can make uh, this smaller or bigger if you want to so uh, if you do close this panel uh, silhouette studio will kick you out of that so uh, we will need to keep this panel open so uh, let's go ahead and trace out our image. So I'm going to pan my canvas and I do that by holding down a space bar and then just clicking and dragging. And this just makes it a whole lot easier. So to trace this flower, um, oops, I'm busy using my scroll wheel and it's making the magnet bigger, uh, sorry, smaller. Um, so I'm just going to pan my canvas and then I'm going to trace this out. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to be doing a whole bunch of clicks. Okay. Like we're going to be clicking a lot on our mouse. Um, and let me just show you real quickly. So here I'm clicking and silhouette is, uh, tracing this out. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of clicks. It can be quite, uh, time consuming, uh, but it's it looks really beautiful in the end um so don't worry if you make a mistake um we can always go back and fix it okay so because we're creating a whole bunch of points we can always come over here to the points editor and just uh, clean it up nicely okay so don't stress too much if you make a mistake so i'm going to go ahead and trace out this flower and then we can go ahead and remove the background Okay, so now I have traced over um, the whole image. And if you were watching, you would see that I've created quite a few boo boos. But that's okay because we're going to fix it. So now what we need to do is come over here to trace and detach. So if we click on that, you will see that Silhouette has now removed the flower. Okay, so now that we're done with this, we can go ahead and delete that. And now we're left with a beautiful flower. So um, obviously it's not perfect. I made a few mistakes over here. So now what I'm going to do to just rectify that is just zoom in quite a bit. And then we need to fix up some of this because it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to click on edit points and I'm going to click on the image. And then we can go ahead and just bring this point in if it's going to work because <laughs> I actually made quite a bit of a boo-boo. Um, we can uh, even go ahead and delete points as well. So that cleaned that up nicely. Um, so they were a few others that I made. So if I click on this point, I can just drag that a little bit. I can drag that inward and it will get rid of that. And then this one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quickly and then we should be good to go.
Okay, so I think that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty neat. Um, I really like that. And that is how simple it is to remove a background in Silhouette Studio. So it is a little bit tedious. Um, and if you have a more detailed image, it can be quite, it can be a lot of work. Um, but I think Silhouette Studio does a really great job of removing the background. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.